pregnant wife cheated on me. Sorry, big post incoming. I just need to get this out. Me, 28 male, and my wife, 30 female, have been married for four and a half years and have a beautiful little girl who is three. Last year we bought a house which came with a massive amount of stress due to being put through hell by the solicitors we were dealing with. Documents upon documents required, information requested we had already sent, being ghosted by them until we had sat on hold to them for hours waiting to speak to someone, each time telling us a different thing. It was a tough time but at long last we got a house we both loved and would be amazing for our little one. We tried for a second child a few months after moving in but it just wasn't happening. My wife began to worry that we couldn't conceive a second as the first one had been so quick after trying only a month. I had some reservations about a second child, so soon after the stress of moving I was trying to get a better job at the time so we could be more stable. I told her this and she got really upset thinking if we didn't try now we would never conceive. I relented as I saw how much it meant to her and I did want a second child, so we tried. Months rolled on until eventually she fell pregnant. It was great as she was immensely happy, but I had a nagging dread of responsibility that if I didn't get a better job soon, we would struggle with two children. I locked myself away for a few months participating in online courses to try and get the skills needed to move into a different career path, something we had discussed and she seemed to be on board with. During this time, we did drift apart as I only saw her for a few hours a night at dinner and then I would go upstairs to the study on the courses. We grew distant and didn't really interact all that much, we still had a decent amount of romance for a married couple, at least once a week, oftentimes more. Fast forward three months and we have a talk saying I think we've grown apart a bit and that we weren't like the old us. Things had got a bit robotic with me trying to learn and study ASAP to get a new job with the baby on the way. We agreed we needed to take more time out for each other as things had gotten a bit stale between us. We spoke more from that point onward and she mentions how happy she is at work with her team. One guy in particular she seems to mention more than anyone else in her stories, she changes almost overnight. Suddenly she starts doing things she wouldn't usually do. She is on her phone almost constantly, taking baths every single day immediately after work, shaving her legs routinely and really going to town on makeup and moisturizer. I questioned her about it at the time. She responded that because she was getting bigger she wanted to look after herself more and feel a bit better about herself. I bought it. Understandable, right? She was getting worried about being bigger so I thought that it was good she was doing these small things that made her feel good about herself. It was other things as well, small things that gave me the idea that things weren't as they appeared. Staying late after work, waiting for me to go upstairs earlier at night to put our daughter to bed, things like that. Still, I didn't suspect anything and trusted her 100%. One day out of the blue, she asked if it was okay to go away for the night to see an old school friend she hadn't seen in a long time. I said sure, that's fine, it would be great for her to catch up. It didn't even enter my mind that she was having an affair with a guy from work or anywhere for that matter. A week or so later, her, my, mother-in-law visits and tells the story of her friend who was going through a divorce. Her friend had found texts on her husband's phone that he was having an affair. My mother-in-law and I discussed how awful it must be and that we couldn't imagine getting to a stage where we felt the need to check our partner's phones. I looked at my wife during this conversation and for the tiniest split second saw a flash of unease and fear wash over her face. Then it was gone in a blink and the conversation continued. That was when I started adding things up. I didn't actually believe she had done anything, but there was something in the back of my mind that was nagging at me. As I connected the dots, I became more and more concerned. After she had gone to bed, when I would usually be studying, I walked into the bedroom and it was like I'd caught her in the middle of something. She was in bed and had pulled the covers up right up to her chin quickly as I entered. I asked if she was okay. She had a small chat about a few things and kissed her goodnight. My mind was now on red alert. I knew her password from when we got together originally, so I logged into her social media accounts on my computer back in my study, and what I saw was worse than I could have imagined. They had been sending videos of each other playing and talking dirty for the last week. She had been doing it when she went to bed and I was studying after I had put our child to bed. The conversations had made it clear they had been having romance at work and even had a romance in our house while I was working. I also found out he, had, he was almost 20 years older than her and had a wife and two kids of his own. She had been doing things with him that she would never do with me, romantically. He would give her assignments each morning on what to wear, how to talk to him, etc. And she was absolutely loving it. She suggested they book a hotel away as she couldn't bear the thought of being away from him. It would say she was meeting up with an old school friend. The messages seemed to indicate that she was pushing things further and further and was planning around our schedule to get in quick ducks wherever she could. Pure adrenaline rushed through me as I saved everything I could from those conversations and I slept next to my daughter that night. I didn't actually sleep, I just kind of laid there thinking and crying. She left her work in the morning and I didn't say anything. 
It was hard to do, but I didn't really know what to say. She got all dolled up and was happy as can be as she left that morning and it crushed me. I had planned to confront her when she got home. My mother-in-law came to collect our daughter as she looked after her whilst we were both at work and I broke down and told her everything. She was extremely sympathetic and disappointed. My wife came home and knew she had been found out. I vented and wanted to know why. Why had she done this? Was the baby mine? Does she love this other person? Does she want to stay together? So many questions. Initially, she didn't say anything and wouldn't answer my questions. She just looked at the floor, zoning out, thinking. After ranting for a while, I asked if she could actually talk to me as staring at the floor was not what I needed from her right now. She swore it had only been in the last week that things between them escalated romantically, which lines up with the messages they had been sending that I had saved. She said she didn't love this guy and that it was a stupid mistake. She claimed she wasn't thinking, it was nothing to do with me, and that she still loved me. I had done nothing wrong, it was just an escape from what had become a monotonous life. She blamed the hormones. She said she hadn't been well mentally for a while. I didn't know what to do. I went for a walk and I contacted my mother who lives far away from us. She was understanding and said I had to think about things carefully, as there was still our daughter and our unborn child to think about. I vented to my mother and went back. Despite everything, I still loved my wife. I wanted to be together, to go back to the way things were before we got the house. In the interest of maybe salvaging our marriage and the kids, I didn't tell anyone else anything. She stayed at my mother-in-law's house that night with our daughter so I could get some headspace, but it did little to ease my pain. I wanted to be with her. I called her and said I missed her. She said the same. The next night, we had romance and it was like nothing had happened. I felt like I needed to reclaim what had been taken from me, so I was the one who initiated it. We decided that we did love each other and that although it was going to take time, things would be rough for a while. I just wanted to see what would happen when the baby was born. I couldn't give up so easily. I just asked her to be 100% honest with me from then on. She went back to work and said she had moved offices away from him. She claimed that they had spoken and she had told him that her family was the most important thing to her and that they could no longer carry on. He asked her if that was what she truly wanted and she reiterated it to him. So we both went back to work, which at first was horrible. I would come home in a different mood every day, sometimes angry, sometimes crying, sometimes okay. I started trying to study less and spend more time with her, watching TV, reading with her next to me, getting up with her in the mornings to say goodbye instead of staying asleep. It wasn't to make sure she wasn't still messaging him, it was because I had realized this is what I wanted, to be normal again. I started going to the gym, eating healthier, and looking after myself more. We had good days and bad, taking our daughter on outings and playing with her, more romance here and there. Her parents paid for us to all go away to a spa, which was nice. After a few weeks, I was slowly but surely believing more and more that this could work. I felt some good could actually come out of the whole situation. Last week, she says she had to go away on a business trip on a day she doesn't usually work. I said that was pretty irregular and I would obviously be a bit worried. She had asked a friend to take our daughter whilst we were both at work instead of her mother-in-law. This was also unusual. I expressed my concern and asked her if she was using this opportunity to meet up with him again. She said no and gave me the time and location she would be on the day to ease my mind. By this time, things have been going pretty well. Although it was still extremely early, three weeks since D-Day, I went to work that day dreading I'd be worried sick. Surprisingly, I was fine. It was actually the first normal day I had experienced at that point. I saw how much she wanted us to be together, how upset she had been, how much better I felt in such a short amount of time. I believed her. Then she called me on my lunch, said things had been canceled at work, and she was coming home early. I asked if she wanted to grab lunch as she would be in the same area as my work by that time. She said no. She just wanted to go home as her back was hurting her due to pregnancy, now five months in. I said okay and concentrated on work. I asked her how her day was when she got home and she said work had been boring and not very eventful. We went to sleep but I woke up in the middle of the night. I kept thinking how odd it was that she had gone away that day and then come back so early. To stop the madness going on in my brain, I checked her phone and it showed she hadn't been where she said she had been. She woke up to me fidgeting with anxiousness and I confronted her. She denied she had seen him again. I pointed out all the evidence and she eventually admitted it. She said they had cleared the air and they both agreed they wanted to focus on their families and nothing else was going to happen between them. She said they had just talked about what had happened and to get some closure. She hadn't spoken to him at work very much at all since D-Day and she still wanted to close the case. I argued that she had set up an elaborate lie. Still lied when she knew I had figured it out and had refused point blank when I asked if she was going to see him that day. She said she went to his house but did not go inside. They went to a local cafe, got some coffee, and just walked around the park talking for an hour or two. I pulled up a picture of a random cafe on my phone, which was nowhere near the location she said she was at. I asked if that was the one they had been to. She said yes, that was the one, another lie. 
I told her that the cafe was nowhere near where she said she was, and she got angry and defensive. She said I wasn't paying attention. It was all just a bit of a blur. It's not proof I'm lying. I'm telling the truth. Nothing happened. In the morning, as one last test, I said she would have to prove it. I asked her if she would message the guy saying, I feel much better after yesterday. You? This way, if he replies with something harmless and in line with what she had told me, then it could be true. If, however, he mentions that they had romance again or replies with anything dirty, the game would be up. She refused. I tried to take her phone off of the bedside table, saying I would send it if she wouldn't. She went mad, screamed at me while snatching her phone away. She then began typing on it furiously. This to me was as good as a confession. She said she lied to me again about where she was because she thought I would leave if I found out she wanted to talk to him again. This was yesterday and I haven't really slept in 36 hours. We have agreed for her to stay at her mother's house tonight. I have no idea what to do. There are more details but I have been typing for a while. I just can't believe that she is pregnant with my child, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's mine, and is still hanging around in the sky. I'm mentally ruined. Hey guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help me out. Thanks. Sorry for this mess she has caused you. There is no way she just stopped talking to him at work after the affair was revealed. Honestly, the only way you can blow this up and nuke it would be filing for divorce and have the papers served to her at work. This guy's wife needs to know, friends need to know, don't let her blame this on hormones either. Just because you file for divorce doesn't mean you can't withdraw it. She needs to realize what she has done and the consequences of her actions. And her going to get coffee and walk around for two hours? My wife had four kids and at five months pregnant, she wasn't walking around the park for a couple hours ever. Another lie. You can't believe a thing she is telling you now because she is in the affair fog. Nobody can tell you to leave and divorce her, but I would definitely get a paternity test in order for both born and unborn child. Sorry, but I can feel your desperate cry for help in this poopy situation. And the woman who you thought was your wife is far from the one she portrayed to you. Good luck, OP. Dude, that's heartbreaking. Get an STD test rapid. When the baby is born, get a DNA test. How are you wanting to go forward with this? Personally, I don't think I could continue with the marriage. Do you know who this other man is? His wife should know and not even coming from a vindictive angle. She's in the same boat as you. If his wife found out first, would you have wanted her to tell you? Stay strong. Go to see the gentleman and in front of his wife and children confront. Then tomorrow morning, you just go to the human resources department of her company and raise holy hell. They both lose their jobs, wreck the affair, scare the old man off, get aggressive, and tell her you will sue for full custody, citing infidelity during the pregnancy. Let them know that their private instructions will be made public. She should be terrified of what you can do to her. Legally, she could be ducked. Ask yourself this question. Are you going to trust her again? If the answer is no, file for divorce now and move on. Nothing is an accident and there are consequences to our actions and decisions. She decided to cheat and have romance with someone else. I'm really sorry for you. You seem to deserve better. I've been wrestling with this question for the past few hours and I think the answer is no. I've given her multiple opportunities to come clean and she has continued to lie. I can't trust anything she says anymore. I feel like you're a very thoughtful and caring person. I mean you wanted to reconcile the moment she cheated. I also feel like this is a detriment to your situation because she is clearly taking advantage of you and thinks you'd always take her back if she ducks up. There are no real stakes here if you don't do something to show her how serious this is because she will continue to walk all over you. File for divorce and start planning your finances. I don't think you can ever trust her again. She'll just get a better at hiding. Sorry bro. Okay, most advice will be to kick her to the curb, get tested for SDI, and lawyer up. I actually believe that she broke off the relationship because why else would she come home early? Though it seems the plan was for the entire day. If you want to save the marriage, inform the guy's wife. That will put an end to this and she should know what a cheat she is married to. It's your call. You know your family and a lot depends on how sorry wife is and how truthful she is. You are doing a good job of not being a doormat. Good luck, dude. DNA test ASAP. Soon as that baby drops. File for divorce. She'll do it again.